Hello, and welcome to the first RISC OSC programming tutorial. I'm James, and um, today we're going to be covering what we actually need um, to start programming in C. Um, so, of, of course, we need a C compiler. We're going to be using GCC because it's three. We're going to need something called UnixLib. Um, that just makes our life easier. Um, and finally, something called OSLib which is going to allow us to actually make things with buttons and windows and all that cool stuff. So um, let's get these things. So uh, we're going to use the package manager that comes with Risk OS um, for Raspberry Pi. I assume you have an internet connection because uh, you're going to need one to use it. Um, now GCC isn't actually included in the package manager by default. Um, because what, how the package manager works is it has a list of internet sources and um, it just gets all the packages from there, but we, we need to add a source. Um, so if we go into our SD card, we go into apps, and then we uh, shift double click on Pac-Man, and then we go into resources. Here we have um, sources. So yeah, we'll uh, open that. And down here um, at the bottom, there's a line which is commented out, which is uh, the auto builder, useful ported applications, and the GCC compiler. And that's the one we're using. So we're going to uncomment that, and we're going to hit save. So that's going to tell the um, package manager where to find our compiler, so we can get it and install it. Um, brilliant. So now we can open the package manager. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to middle click on the package manager down here. You're going to have to go update lists, and it's going to download all the package information of GCC and all that. Um, brilliant. So it's done. Close it now. I'll show you what you need. We open this. Uh, what you're going to need, first of all, if we hit that search button there, GCC, you're going to want to install GCC4. You're going to want to install UnixLib, UnixLib dash dev. Then you're also going to want to look for OSLib. And you're going to want OSLib and can I just say most importantly, OSLib help because, yeah, you're really going to want that because OSLib is one of the most complicated things to use um, when you get started and just having the help will be so, so important to you. So brilliant. I'm going to pause the video. You should pause the video too and uh, get those get those things installed. Hello and welcome back. I've just gone and installed all the things that I told you to install, so we should be on the same page here. Um, now we need to tell the operating system where all of these things are. Um, and I'll show you why we need to do that. If you hit Control F12, we get a task window. This is like Terminal and Linux or CMD for Windows. And if we type GCC, it says File GCC Not Found. Now that's not good because we want to be able to use GCC. But this is easily rectified. If we go down into the SD card and we hit apps and then development, double click on the GCC application, then type GCC. It says insufficient memory for application. That's also not ideal, but we can deal with that issue later. That one's also easily fixed, but at least now the operating system knows where GCC is. Lovely. Um, but we want that to happen on startup. We don't have to, we don't want to have to constantly Every time we turn it on, double click GCC and the other things. Um, we don't want to have to set up the OS lib and Unix libs and so on on startup. So we're going to make it do all of these things on startup. We can do that by going here into boot, then going into boot again and going to this run. So this is a list of things which run on startup. Now we can just drag GCC into here. If we go into library, we can drag Unix lib into here. Now if we shift double click on OS lib, we can drag set vars unix lib into there. Um, brilliant. Hit set, hit set, close all of these. And now OS lib, unix lib, GCC should all be uh, loaded in on startup. And we can test that really easily. If you middle click on the Raspberry Pi icon and hit shut down, restart, and give it a little bit, um, we can see when it turns back on whether or not GCC, OSLib, and UnixLib have been loaded in on startup. So give it a second. Oof. Okay, right. So, 
hold F12, GCC, insufficient memory for application. That shows us that it's run all the things we told it's run on startup. Um, lovely. So um, now we've got everything that we need. I'll see you next tutorial and uh, show you how to use it all.